Hello YouTube, my name is Nick Lupson Slobble, also known as Assembly Assembly, and we are here with... I'm Nicholas. And uh, we're going to talk medication, since we both take medications. Oh, meds. Yeah, tell me about them. Side effects and whatnot. Side effects and whatnot. Oh my god, what doesn't cause side effects? Yeah, Seriously? Exactly. Everything causes the side effects. And they don't like to tell you about them. <laughs> they really don't. Um, and I think that I'm a, a particularly good case in general because I have a lot of rare side effects that I get from my medicine that they didn't tell me that I was gonna have. They don't tell you. No, they don't. Um, for instance, I am on Lyrica and Cymbalta. Those two together, I don't know. I get some weird reaction. It's like every morning I wake up, I mean, I may as well be like a heroin addict or something the way I feel. Like I seriously feel like walking death. Like I wake up and I'm nauseous. And yeah. if I don't take my meds soon enough, I start throwing up, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I have effects so you don't throw up, you get really, really dizzy. Some people have mm. brain chills. Ooh. I don't even like, know what that the, is. Like Cymbalta zaps, they get the, you get these shocks oh, almost. Yeah? It feels like you're getting like electrocuted. Does it feel like it's going in your brain? Well, it can. I get it in my body, like just in random spots. Okay. Um, I start getting like really bad muscle spasms. Mostly it's just this, uh, the nausea and this sense of foreboding, like, dude, I'm going to die or something. You feel like you're gonna die. Yeah. And it's just, it's not something to mess around with. They didn't tell me, you know, you've got to take it like the same time every day. Yes. Yeah. Really, really, really do. I wish they, uh, when I took, uh, Wildbutrin, I was on Wildbutrin for a short period of time. I wish they oh. said that, yeah, it made me want to, want to throw, uh, stress balls at people and stuff like that. <laughs> right? Just like, ah! Yeah, so, I didn't really didn't like it that much. I feel that. Trazodone? Trazodone, for me, it sucks. I was a walking zombie yeah. on that stuff. I think I've been on everything pretty much at least once. I've tried I, pretty much everything. I the, I couldn't go to sleep with the Pratt Quad, the Trazodone, and in the morning I just felt like... Yeah, right? I, you feel like you didn't sleep at all. You, like, yeah, like, I feel you like, like, like... Yeah. It's just like, like, wiped. Just completely wiped. Like, I stayed up all night playing video games or... I stay up all night playing video games. That sounds like fun though. Yeah, it does. Right. Um, so, so <laughs> gee. with that, you know, so I've had so many side effects from all my medications that it's really helped me with becoming an advocate for medical marijuana. Um, that's something that I don't know what I would do without it. I think I probably should have said at the beginning, um, I have cerebral palsy and fibromyalgia. I also struggle with PTSD. And I'm in recovery from an eating disorder. Decade long, two years in recovery. Hell yes. Ah! Huh. Yeah. So, and I think I honestly have marijuana to thank for that. I, because of the side effects of my medications I get all the time, I, you know, I'm throwing up in the morning. Like, I wouldn't be able to eat or hardly even keep my meds down if I didn't yeah. smoke or if I didn't have something. It's so, it's so natural. It comes from, it comes from. It's a plant. It's a plant. You know, like. Versus as opposed to the psycho, this, this crazy little pill that has God knows what in it and yeah, kills exactly. your sex drive and like just turns you into somebody like you don't even know who you are hardly like I just yeah. like a zombie on some of it. Yeah. Oh, um, nasty, nasty. I'm on Clozeril right now. Um, I they What's used to. That? It's an antipsychotic, like kind of a they last sort of resort kind of thing. Oh. And uh, um. Yeah, I uh, I can't chew well as, as well as I could. Like just the act of chewing and, and swallowing. Really? And I drool at night. Like my pillow's completely wet. Aww. I can my pillow's right there. I get night sweats really oh, bad. Yeah. So yeah, I feel that. You know, there's just those it's weird like little, a it's like a little kid print. wet the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Except they didn't. Yeah. It's just sweat from all the. It's pretty much because I'm starting to go in withdrawal from not having my medicine. Um. I do have to say, there's one pharmaceutical medication that I'm on that is really tremendously helpful. Oh yeah? What's that? Prazosin. Prazosin. It's a medicine that a lot of people haven't heard about. I have it, it works by lowering your blood pressure. It's for nightmares, for PTSD. Okay, that's mm -hmm. awesome. It really... That's an understatement. That's the understatement of the year. That's good. Like, I wonder, like, there's schizophrenia and that can be treated with antipsychotics and stuff like sure. that. And bipolar, 
kind of with the same thing and then uh, um with lithium and stuff like that right oh lithium but i've never heard of anything for P ptsd so that's that's good it, it it's a really weird medication like i said it works by lowering your blood pressure so i mean i still have bad dreams but it's like i don't get as revved up of like over it and the nightmares aren't as severe um and like for instance last night i was really silly and i forgot to take it i totally paid for it <laughs> and yeah. you know all night it was just you know one thing after the other just these repetitive nightmares and i woke up just feeling just like totally yeah. trashed I and see. so i mean i'm grateful for you know that's like the one pharmaceutical medication that i'm like i feel like all around it's helped me like without having any sort of negative effects yeah um, like the the, Lyr the Lyrica and Cymbalta are super helpful for my pain, but yeah. there the rest of the side effects it it kind of makes it a draw on some level. It it's is a different a kind of pain. Yeah, exactly. It's it's definitely um, you take into account everything, including side effects. Yep, gotta weigh the pros and the cons and. They'll tell you about like when I I'm, I was on well I still am on Abilify. They lowered my dose recently. But that really helped, aside from wanting to throw up all the time. Right. <laughs> but once that passed, it, it, it helped. That was helpful. That's yeah. good. That's good. I remember I did have some some good effects from that. But yeah. I over time, I think a lot of my mood issues, I think, have been based in PTSD. It's been my primary diagnosis. Yeah. So slowly, we're kind of, I think because I'm doing a lot of therapy and stuff to resolve this stuff a little bit. I'm not needing that stuff as much. Yeah. I don't know. But like there were some medications that had really scary side effects. Like Geodon. Yes. I got the Tardive Dyskinesia. Tardive Dyskinesia? Yeah. So Really? Yeah. So basically I was sitting there smacking cool. my lips. I couldn't like I couldn't smack Did it go did it go away after a while? It did. Um, that's it, good but again. no that I had to stop the Geodon. Yeah. They take you off what drug like in stuff. Right away, because it can be permanent, right? Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. It was that's pretty scary. scary. And how? I, I, that's scary. That's one of the things that I worry about. Frankly. Yeah, you gotta pay attention. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the akathasia? Ooh. Uh, geez. I, uh, I, I experienced this when I was put on Abilify, akathasia being, um, being restless. And, uh, um, yeah. I didn't know what to do with myself. I would pace the, the hospital over and over again. So I, I decided to pace and count my feet and make a map of it. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that later. Cool. Okay. For yeah. sure. Yeah. All right. Cool. I, sorry, I don't have the map for you people. Well, um, you know, YouTube, sometimes you're unprepared, it just happens. Yeah, I don't have These videos just happen. Yes. Here we are. Yeah. We're happening. Yeah, we, these, we were, we were walking by, and then it's like, oh, hey, how's it going? We thought we'd check in and say hello. Yeah, so hello. You think this is the, we should end it now, or do you want to? I don't know. I mean, I think, I don't, I'm so, oh my gosh, here. I think. <laughs> I gotta tell people that there is a lot of different science. I think we should edit this. Like, wait, we could like do something. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. But anyways, like this stuff right here. I'm gonna like, put this up to the camera. It's kind of hard to see. So it's CBD gum. It's so uh, it's got the cannabidiol in it, um, and it doesn't have. It's less than one percent THC. So it's not psychoactive at all, and it helps with my muscle spasms. I get it shipped to me from Michigan, which is totally legal, by the way. Especially, oh, yeah? Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah. Especially now that they passed a law in all 50 states about the CBD oil. But heads up on that, guys. If you're seeing the stuff in the head shops, be mindful because you don't know where that hemp was sourced from. Usually, it's industrial hemp from China. It comes over in, like, oil barrels, basically. There's no, there's no regulation for quality. You don't yeah. know. So really, if you can get it medicinally, get it medicinally. Don't just go with, you know, this stuff you see in your head shop. Unless you can check the sources ahead of time. Um, another thing that I recommend to people is concentrates versus smoking herbal weed. Because honestly, smoking in general, not good for you. Whether it's marijuana or tobacco right, so yeah. or whatever, it's not good for you. So vaporizing, totally the way to go. This takes so much less time in the morning, like I'm not having to smoke two joints to get myself to the point where I don't 
feel like walking death. Yeah. You know, it's a couple puffs and I'm good to go. And with that, because of the ratio of the CBD to the THC, CBD to the THC? Yes. Sorry. Yeah, right? Like yeah, there, there's a ratio thing that goes on. When, when you've got a higher amount of CBD to the THC, it makes it so that it's less psychoactive. It, it, the CBD helps to negate some of the negative effects of THC, like the memory loss and the euphoria and whatever. So it's, it leaves me feeling a lot more clear-headed. It's good. Yeah, it's not like, whoa, dude, yeah. where's my car? Yeah. So, I don't yeah. think it's like that either. No, no, it's really not. Like they make it, they make it out like it's good, like people are like stoned out of their minds all the time. Well, well, I wasn't stoned out of my mind, but I had uh, had marijuana um, a couple of times, and the last time I was with my friend, um, shall rename nameless. I was with them, and I'm like, the clock's gonna go by three hours if I close my eyes. I can't close my eyes because the clock will go forwards three hours. So that was my experience of having some sort of psychoactive effect from mm -hmm. marijuana. Well, yeah, when you use it one time, I mean, yeah, versus using it all the time, it affects you a lot differently. Yeah. Because I do it on a daily basis, I feel essentially mentally normal. I do have some, I do notice some issues with memory, but that can be a conglomeration of all the meds I'm on. Yes. It's not just the cannabis, but I've definitely got to say since I switched to concentrates, much help, much more helpful than just regular herb. Cool. So I like to throw that out there for people that it's not like the meth of marijuana like they try to make it sound like Yeah Because these dumbasses are trying to make the concentrates in their house and then their house blows up because they do it wrong yeah. No, I mean that's why we need to legalize so yeah. then exactly. houses can stop making shit in their houses Yes, but we're getting exactly. off topic So with that, we just wanted to check in, say hello, talk about meds a little bit Let you know, hey, you're not alone out there, meds suck but yes. we're right on that train with you. So hang in right. there and yeah. peace out. Take care. Toodles. Uh, wait a second.